Sri Sundar Rao, an Indian mathematician, wrote a book on mathematics through paper folding in the year 1880. Though paper folding became famous in later years, he could imagine its importance in teaching mathematics in those days itself. He has proved many things related to mathematics are mentioned in his book. We are discussing about how to construct parabola through paper folding in his book. A parabola is a curve traced by a point which moves in a plane in such a manner that its distance from a given point is always equal to its distance from a given straight line. We have taken an A4 sized paper, folded a horizontal central line to that. Now we at some point we are making a vertical line to it and to either side of this vertical line we shall make two more vertical lines which are parallel to the first one and now the intersection of this horizontal and vertical line we are name it as a point O. Now we are the process of making two vertical lines which are equidistant from the first vertical line. Yes. Now these are the points which we are going to mark with the intersection of the horizontal line with these new vertical lines. And now we are going to show that these two are equidistant from the central line. Yes. And now we will make more parallel lines to the axis, the horizontal line. We are making more horizontal lines which are parallel to the original horizontal line. First, to make it in an easy way, we made a half of the top part of the paper and again further it is made into half and the second part also is bisected into two equal parts and hence we made the top part above this axis into four equal parts and we have horizontal lines to the axis. Now we can further bisect them. Top part we are making it to half and finally we will have eight equal parts on the top half part above this axis. And now there are many horizontal lines. Now let us mark this point as focus and the vertical line, the first one as the directrix. All these horizontal lines are meeting at a particular point on the directrix. These horizontal lines are intersecting the directrix at various points. Yes. Let us mark one of them. And we have already marked the focus. Now. Let us make a crease, a fold or a line by overlapping this new point on this directrix onto the focus and see that they are exactly overlapping on one another and form the crease. Every point on this line what we are getting now are equidistant from this focus and the new point we made on the directrix. But we are not interested in all the points, we are interested only in one point where this horizontal line is intersecting this new line. This is the point. We have marked that and this line or this point lies on the parabola. We go to the next point and we do the similar way, overlap that point onto the focus 
and make one more crease or line and a fold this is the new one and see where this new line is intersecting our horizontal line that horizontal line where we have marked the point on the directrix yes here this is the point so similarly on all the points we do the same thing overlap that new point onto the focus and uh, make uh, lines the new lines and then mark where these new lines are always cutting these horizontal lines and mark them and all these points are lying on the parabola so these all lines together make the parabolic this is the last one of our example we have taken and these are all folds what we are making and we made a marking with the red pen are all the tangents to the parabola yes this is the parabolic curve on the top part of the paper and we would like to continue the same thing on the bottom part of the paper so that the parabola is complete. For that we can make uh, parallel lines on the bottom also but uh, in the origami way let us fold the top part onto the bottom and make a small pinch over there and in this method to make it more visible we are marking with a pen and getting the points for the lower part of the parabola. We continue till all the points of the top part are marked on the bottom part of the paper also and we got the parabolic shape means all these points we have marked are on the parabola let's mark them to make it visible And this is the parabolic shape this is the directrix vertical line on which we marked all the points and this is the focus and this parabola happy folding viewers